Following the looting spree that greeted warehouses, government organizations, as well as private schools in Taraba State, the deputy governor embarks on an on-the-spot assessment of the facilities. His first port of call is the Bio Resource Center, a federal agency that trains youths in various skills. The state NYSC orientation camp, which houses a COVID-19 isolation center, is not spared. The intervention of the army stopped the rampaging youths from vandalizing the entire facility. Around 11.14 p.m., some hoodlums came in, thousands, with cutlers, uh, hoe, uh, some were holding guns, and a lot of vehicles. We even have some of the plate number with us. Came in, they pack all our machines, they pack all our chairs, every, they vandalize everything in this center. So they vandalize almost everything. They pack our mattresses, pack all the beds in the isolation center, remove the ceiling fans, the uh, khaki uniforms, the boots, the canvas, the PT uniform, all the cooking utensils, including freezers, office uh, furniture, almost virtually everything. Baffled by the incident, the state deputy governor, Haruna Manu, warns of dire consequences if the stolen properties are not returned. I want to use this medium to still call upon those that looted these properties to return them. Because if they don't, government will descend on them and then will descend on them heavily. I want to assure them. So it is in their best interest, those that cut it away these properties, they should return them. Recovery from this is a huge task, and the Speaker of the State House of Assembly is promising to support the government as it works out plans to help deal with the situation. There will be a collaboration between the State Assemblies and the National Assembly, perhaps maybe the Conference of Speakers and the National Assembly to see how we we'll come up with a, a law that will tackle these kind of issues. No fewer than 15 government and private facilities were vandalized in the wake of the looting following the NSAR's protests in Taraba State.